All right, guys, we're going to be installing these brand new Dakota Lithium 135 amp hour batteries as our house batteries and a traditional lead acid battery as a starting battery. Um, you can see here I have the Blue Seas off on switch. We're going to be removing the ACR and replacing that with a Victron DC to DC converter. Hey, guys, I'm here in my 27 conch and I want to show you what I did for batteries using the Dakota Lithium batteries. So uh, I switched over this season to running Dakota Lithium house batteries <clears throat> and trolling motor batteries as well. I've been running the trolling, trolling motor batteries for two years now. Uh, the trolling motor batteries are fantastic. Um, we can basically run all day long, 15 hours a day, don't have to worry about losing power. Um, and you get no drop in power either. So if you're using traditional batteries, as your charge gets lower, you get a decrease in performance. But with a, a Dakota Lithium battery, uh, the battery would, op would perform the same whether it was 100% charged or 1% charged, um, which is really great. So you're not, you never have to worry about um, having a, a, a weak trolling motor. Um, but what I want to do is switch over to my house batteries. The reason being is I have these giant libels in this boat, uh, 200 gallon libel capacity, and I have the big rural tournament 1600 gallon per hour pumps, and they draw a lot of amp hours. Forget the number off the top of my head, I think it's like four or five amp hours. Um, they really put a draw that combined with the two Humminbird Apex 16s. Um, I'm pulling a lot of juice out of the batteries, and I was getting a lot of uh, low voltage alarms very quickly, burning through lead, added, uh, lead acid batteries really fast. So I wanted to try the, the lithium batteries, so I put these, uh, these two Dakota 135 amp hour. Now they're actually a dual purpose battery, so uh, this could be used as a cranking and deep cycle house battery. But my question, and like, um, I'm sure many of you have the same question or concern is that the outboard manufacturer, so on this boat I have a single 300 Suzuki and um, Suzuki as well as some, some of the other manufacturers, uh, manufacturers I believe Yamaha has the same, um, they want you to only use a lead acid thousand marine cranking um, cranking amp battery and only that specifically they they don't want you to use a lithium battery with the outboard so with outboards being uh very expensive i didn't want to jeopardize my warranty so uh it was actually pretty easy um you're still able to keep your lead acid starting battery so right there that's my lead acid starting battery uh and i have my two um dakota batteries wired in parallel so uh, I actually have double the amp hours so I have 235 amp hour batteries which is 270 amp hours which you will never go through that uh, that will last you you can run those live all pumps all day long you don't have to worry about running that battery down but you still want to be able to um, or I still wanted to be able to charge off the alternator now that was the question how do you do that um, because the lithium batteries are like a sponge. They will draw as much amp hours as the alternator will put out. Uh, thus, they could burn out your alternator. They could draw, I think, like 17 amps out of your alternator and burn out. Uh, but it's a really easy solution. Uh, uh, all that I did was uh, I originally had a, a, um, an ACR, a Blue Seas ACR. I removed that and replaced it with a Victron DC to DC converter, um, or, or uh, I should say isolated DC to DC charger. Um, all this does is regulates the voltage. So basically, this ensures um, via an app, this is a, uh, run by Bluetooth, you control it from your phone, and this will ensure that the batteries can only draw 14 volts from your alternator. Uh, and it was pretty simple to do this. All I had to do is run and get inside the console here. You can see right here my input. So this is coming in from my starting battery, the positive and negative from my starting battery, and then the output 
This is my negative and positive uh, going from the house battery. And that's it. The voltage is now totally controlled. Um, so I never have to worry about uh, putting um, too much draw on my alternator. So this is going to protect the alternator. These are relatively inexpensive. I think this was under $200. Uh, very easy to install. Uh, and that's it. Now I have 270 amp hours. And when my engine is running, this will kick on and I will uh, charge the batteries from the alternator. Uh, anytime the engine is off, it will isolate the starting house battery. So I never have to worry about drawing from my starting battery. Obviously, you wouldn't want to draw off your starting battery when your engine is off because then when you go to restart it, you could be left with a dead battery. So it's really important that your batteries are isolated when the engine is off and that they're combined when the engine is running so you're charging up all your batteries. So that's it. Uh, highly recommend this. I can't say enough good stuff. I use this um, for, uh, I put these on the middle of the summer. So I have, I put uh, hundreds of hours, if not a thousand hours on these. I have never gotten a low voltage alarm. Um, I can run my live well pumps all day long. Uh, and these come with 11 room. 11 year warranties, which is incredible. So highly recommend this. And again, this is the Victron uh, DC to DC isolated charger.